I'm Tendai Maposa and I attended Anderson School between 1993 and the year 2000. I know, way too long. To this day I don't know what I did to my parents to deserve that. Anyway, I decided to take a trip back to Anderson to see what has changed since I left. What you're about to witness is an account of what I last remember and what it looks like at the time of filming, December 2017. The first difference I noticed was right at the entrance. The signpost in 1993 was small and at the telephone number 0543424. Around 1997, the signpost was upgraded and a new telephone number was added, 0542164. All the signs I remember seeing are gone. And this is the new entrance. The entrance to the school is bolder and makes a solid statement as one drives past. The grounds, as you cross the gate, look pretty new with fresh gravel replacing the soil I remember leading to the primary school. The tennis court is still in the same spot, and the only difference I noticed was the absence of the little path leading to the tennis court from the music room. The disappearance of this footpath and the flourishing green grass over it, coupled by the invisible net on the tennis court, made me wonder if they still play tennis. One huge difference is the science block on the left-hand side of the entrance into the school. This is where I used to play football. I wasn't allowed to play much, but when I did, it was never more than three minutes before I got substituted. Apparently, I had two left feet and that's no good for trying to score goals. The impressive A-level block replaces this science lab, which is still in the quad, and still has the installments that I remember from my time. Kinda made me feel nostalgic. The roundabout is still the well-manicured landmark of the school. At the time of my visit, the flag was flying at half mast to honor Dr. Timothy Stamps who had passed away. May his soul rest in peace. Mr. B's old house had a hedge around it, but has now been replaced by a beautiful face brick wall topped by lights along the path that leads to the girls' dorm. No guessing why they had to illuminate that path, right? During my time, the picnic bench was Mr. B's podium to deliver his assembly message. It's a special picnic bench because that's where we would chill when my parents would visit. My first roommates, Kudam Sipa, Reginald Kramplin and Nobuma Gutsa were always welcome to come and relax with us. Sadly, the fish pond is no longer the dunking spot for birthdays. The pond now has thriving healthy plant life and I wonder what they do for birthdays now. Dini mai magwati ndafara chaizvo ndichitaura nemwe wose vari mhiri kwamakungwa akupi ndiri pana patinana vachulu nana ndichiri pano ndakavya 1980 nava magwati vamagwati vakaritaya vava kumba saka tafara zvikuru tikuti tikukwa ziseiwo the reception still has the same color scheme and it looks great. Can someone help me understand what the P at the end of the reception sign is for? The quad is very beautiful. The gardens are well maintained and look a lot better than I remember them. The school used to host prize giving ceremonies in the quad, but with growth in numbers, the quad has become way too small for prize giving ceremonies and now they are held elsewhere. The classrooms in the whole school are now equipped with impressive state-of-the-art technology. Gone are the chalkboards that we grew up with. All the classrooms are now furnished with projectors and touch-responsive surfaces. I'm kinda jealous that we didn't have these during the 90s. The computer lab was a special spot for me to visit, because that's where I used to do my work program. They still have a white grill for security, and the number of computers with internet connectivity has increased considerably. They are doing a really good job here. Tawanda Gutu and Mr. Mkwamba, you'll be pleased to note that I found one of the old desks that used to support the Gateway 2000 computers we used to open up. A few interesting artifacts like the accountant's desk badge are still around the quad. Can you believe it? And yeah, of course, <laughs> the bell still works. <laughs> Here 
Here's the music building, still looking like a majestic island surrounded by lush green grass. The blue worn out carpet I remember is long gone and shiny tiles now grace the floor. Most of the pianos I remember are still alive, but they look like they could do with a touch of TLC. The choir room as I remember it still stands. They don't have the choir benches that we used to stand on as we sang. Instead, they have the luxury of sitting down as they soak in songs that they need to learn. I forgot to ask if they still have choir tours to Arare. Those were pretty cool. Tabom Lochua, the Klavinov electric piano is still there, and Lyndon Minetzi, you'll be pleased to know that the PA system you used to operate is still in town. In 1993, the year that I started my sentence, this was the boys' dorm. This was the prefect's room, this was the parlor, and this was known as cell block 4, the room that housed the Zulu nation, made up of Rodney Morris, Tabani Maposa, Nyasha Banda, and Itai Chineasha. The boys' dorm is now a classroom block, with little trace of it ever being a boys' house of residence, except for the white metal doors that are still standing strong. Anderson School used to end here. However, growth in numbers forced some of the gum trees that formed the school's boundary to be cut down. As painful as this was, it was necessary to make way for the new boys' dorm. Forms 1 to 6 are housed here, and a lot of the old traditions are still held, such as worship with some familiar songs. Guess what I found there too? Please note, ladies, I wouldn't expect you to remember these as they were part and parcel of the old boys dorm. Fellas, did you get to feel a bit nostalgic? I spent the last two years of my Anderson life in this hostel, sharing a room with Takunda Mguisi. Takunda, I've got some news for you, brother. The desk that you used to work on as you burnt the midnight candle is still there, and the curtains that barely cut out the morning sunlight are still holding on for dear life. Hello, guys. Welcome to Anderson. Mrs. Mbanga is still here 17 years now. But you know, the sad thing is, I'll be retiring, but I want to invite you to come and visit Anderson, your Anderson, feel part of it, and uh, join us as we go forward with the technology. Bye. This is the girls' dorm, still looking graceful and partially hidden by that evergreen bush that never dies. The lover's circle is still intact, and I wonder if boys still go there to chaff girls. I was amazed by the amount of history that has been preserved by pictures on the walls in the girls' dorm. Do you recognize any of these faces? The girls' parlor still looks the same. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> You know, I joke, I joke. We used to have open days, remember? This is the old dining hall. We used to have glorious meals in here, but that's no longer the case. The school has grown so much that they converted the DH into a library and the dining hall is now here. The William Bell Auditorium. I remember this place as the venue for stressful Cambridge exams and entertainment on a Saturday night. Today, it is the dining hall, and I must admit, the teachers have mastered the art of making the students eat quietly. Well done, guys. Surprise, it's Mr. Chulu, still here. 
you know, it's been 22 years and I'm still at Anderson where I think you can see what we have done so far. If you were here 17 years ago like Tendai, ooh, there is a great, great, great improvement on everything except that uh, I miss you all guys. You should come back. You know, if you could just come for one, one big homecoming, I'll be very excited. Very, very excited. Remember the swimming pool? I don't get how I never learned how to swim the whole time I was at Anderson. The water is still crystal clear, but I do miss the diving board. Where did it go? The camp meeting grounds still look exactly the same. I hear the rendezvous are no longer used to house visitors and the wood-fired geysers are no longer in use. It was nice to see that even though these aren't in use anymore, they have been preserved as part of the school's history. Whose house was this one you at Anderson? During my time, it was Mr. Obi's. Friday mornings were the best in this glorious church. Way back in my time, the church was smaller and used to get really, really hot in the summer. The church has been extended and they have done such a good job you can barely tell. You need hawk eyes to notice that the distance between the church exit and the lights you see is much shorter. The carpet that used to be in the church has now been replaced by beautiful tiling and air conditioning units have been added to help cool things down in the summer. I guess the cooler air helps to keep the congregation awake too. <laughs> the glass mosaic is intact and all its 13 lamps surrounding the image of Jesus are still in place. Did you just try to count those lambs? The old big picture of Jesus, benches and piano are still housed in the church. I'd have loved to play the piano one more time, but it was locked. So instead, I decided to stand right to the pulpit for a second and took a moment to wonder whether the music is still the same. The biggest change for me was the primary school. When I left in 2000, there was a dusty path that led to the primary school and there was just one classroom block for grades 1 up to 7. But this has changed a lot. There are two classroom blocks at the primary school, a hostel for girls, a hostel for boys and a newly constructed dining room for primary school children. There is also teachers accommodation not too far from the area. I must admit, the improvement here is amazing and best seen in person. The kids all seem to be having a great time. The only bits around the primary school that I could remember were my Urova's house and Mr. Skukula's house. And even then it wasn't easy telling these apart because they've had a fresh lick of paint and are looking pretty good. Speaking about places that look the same, Mr. Beppe's old house, Mr. Chulu's old house, and the workshop area are still looking the same. Anderson School had a great way of immortalizing those that served in leadership roles as prefects. I didn't get a chance to see all the photos, but who do you remember from these pictures?
Hey, <laughs> Kana mchida mnungo chaka chaka mbichana mga shika panda zeni mbunza. Tombo unana. Maita jaizu. Na kuzivisa yu izu. Zukuti nchiri mpenyu. <laughs> Reliving my time at Anderson was priceless. And I hope that this short journey through my eyes has made you want to visit the great school. Alumni support would go a long way in making the amazing progress you have seen even greater. I've done my part in sharing how awesome the school is. Now it's your turn to mobilize all those who you know to come together and give back to our alma mater.